by Hannah Torrey Goza senators who had a limited time and or lacked the opportunity to ask questions during the Senate hearing yesterday expressed their dismay at how the Senate's investigation into the Denbach CMS is being handled. Senator Risa Hontiviro said she had hoped that the hearing could have been handled and managed in a more participatory and democratic manner in which all senators could have been given enough time to ask their questions. Senator Risa Hontiviro's Senate of the Philippines slash Manila Bulletin. After all, the Blue Ribbon Committee is a collegial body. Personally, I had a hard time asking questions because there was not enough latitude and flexibility, Hontiviro said. Senator Francis, Kiko, Pangilinan, and Sen. Joseph Victor, J.V. Ejercito said they hope they would be given the chance to ask more questions in the next hearing. Hopefully we will have a chance to ask our questions thoroughly when another hearing is called, Pangilinan said. On the other hand, Ejercito said, Walla, Hirap Makapasuk. Ejercito said that in the next hearing, he wants the former cabinet officials to explain further how the Aquino administration arrived at the decision to use the Miscellaneous Personnel Benefits Fund, MPBF, and savings to buy billions worth of anti-dengue vaccines. Because that one is very vague. Why would the government approve P35 billion for dengue vaccines when there is no appropriation for it and there is no emergency, Ejercito said. Hontiviro said she too had a hard time asking questions because there was not enough latitude and flexibility. Despite that, I attended all the hearings, tried to be very patient and asserted my right to ask my own questions, she said. I also thought it was improper to let a non-resource speaker speak before the hearing and let the individual cast aspersions against personalities and then ask the committee to look for evidence to support the unsubstantiated claims she pointed out. Hontiveros was referring to Ferdinand Topacio, lawyer of the Volunteers Against Crime and Corruption, VACC, who called on the Blue Ribbon Committee, chaired by Sen. Richard Gordon, to file charges against officials of the past administration allegedly responsible for the botched P35 billion anti-dengue vaccine during the hearing. Senate Minority Leader Franklin Drylan was equally infuriated at the way the committee chaired by Sen. Richard Gordon, allowed Topacio to talk much more than the senators present during the hearing. I find it unfortunate that someone who's not even a resource person was allowed to speak and made all the legal conclusions. That is unwanted, Dryland had said.